video my name is Marie if you're new around here so today's video is gonna be a get it all done I hope that y'all had a wonderful time with your family for Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving this year my mom actually had surgery so she wasn't feeling up to Thanksgiving so we actually had reheated leftover fajitas on Thanksgiving Day but today we're actually doing our Thanksgiving Saturday after Thanksgiving and the Sunday after Thanksgiving one day with Eric's side of the family with his mom and his side the next day with my mom and my side of the family so we have a very busy weekend so i'm gonna go ahead and get my house ready for our party today i'm currently working on the kids bathroom so that is gonna be up either before or right after this video because i'm doing it all at the same time i've been so busy so today we are just gonna focus on getting the laundry out of the way making up my bed i'm making my sweet potato souffle today along with some other foods tomorrow i'll be making even more food i have shared my souffle before in jackson's dr seuss birthday party video but i will leave that recipe down below in my description box if you guys want to make it for Christmas this year for your family it is delicious it's always a hit with my family even my kids love it it's so good but anyways this video is sure to give you all the motivation I'm so excited to hang out with y'all today so let's go ahead and jump into it So I'm going ahead and getting myself put together for the day and I wanted to pull my hair back out of my face since I had so much to do today. So I wanted to share my Dossier perfumes with you guys for this month. So this month I'm sharing two of my top favorite perfumes. If you guys are considering checking out Dossier and purchasing any of their perfumes, I highly recommend the Ambery Saffron and the Citrus Neroli. These smell so good. And each perfume is going to come with a note card that tells you all about each perfume. They come in a 50 milliliter bottle with a magnetic snap-on lid. I always share this feature because I love that it's not going to leak out in my diaper bag or in my purse as other perfumes have done before in the past. If you check out Dossier's website, you will notice that they have higher end perfumes for a much cheaper price tag. So if you are using a higher end perfume, definitely check out Dossier and make sure you are not overspending and you can get the same exact scent. Over on Dossier, it tells you what each perfume is inspired by and you can get it for a fraction of the cost. The Ambery Saffron has become a daily perfume for me. It is my top favorite. If you guys want to check out Dossier, I will leave them linked down below in my description box. All you have to do is click on that link and head on over. The Citrus Neroli is inspired by Tom Ford's Neroli Portofani and it retails for $263 and I can find this Citrus Neroli perfume on Dossier's website for $39. And my top 100% favorite perfume, the Ambery Saffron, is inspired by Baccarat Rouge, and its retail price is $300, you guys. And I can smell just as good for 49 bucks. The Ambery Saffron is a really good all year round nice smell. If you guys want to check out my favorite top perfumes, they are the Ambery Saffron and the Citrus Neroli, and I will link both of them down below in my description box. So the first thing I'm going to get started on is making up my bed. I don't know how y'all are when people come to your house, but I just have to have my house as tidied up as I can possibly get it. It bothers me so bad when I have guests come over and my house is dirty or messy or there's just so many toys that you can't even walk all over the floor. So I really try to tidy up my house as best as I can. We are having my husband's family come over on this day and my family is coming over the next day. So I have so much to do to prep my house for all of our guests for this week. Weekend. So I'm going to go ahead and tackle my bed. We're going to head into the kids bathroom and get it cleaned up since that is also the guest bathroom. I always clean my bathroom when I'm having guests come over. I don't want them to have to use a dirty bathroom because we all know how a kid's bathroom can get. Don't even lie girl. If you got kids you know how that bathroom can get. 
I'm also going to be cleaning up my laundry area. I have so many towels laying all around my laundry area, so I want to get that cleaned up. And then we're going to head into the kitchen. We're going to cook some Thanksgiving food. We're going to be making a pie. I'm going to be making my souffle. I'll have the souffle recipe down below. And at the end of the video, stay tuned because we are going to be decorating my front porch. If you've got things to do around your house, I hope my video can encourage you and inspire you to get up and get moving around your house to get things done. I know sometimes we just need that little push to get up and tackle the day. Also, my bathroom is under construction. The cabinet doors are off because I was actually painting this cabinet. That is coming in a video really soon. I'm going to be doing a kid's bathroom makeover video. So we are still in the process of fixing up the kid's bathroom. I also have my baby and toddler boys room reveal coming soon as well as my shared girls room reveal coming soon. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now if you'd like to be so you don't miss all of the fun content coming soon. We've been in our new house for about two months now, and we are so excited for Christmas this year. We're so excited to get our house put together, and I'll also be sharing a furnished home tour once our house is complete. I needed to pick up just a few things at the store for our party and also just a few things for the kids. I got them some more like macaroni because they love that. But for our Thanksgiving parties, we are having these Dutch apple pies and I highly recommend those for your Christmas parties this year. You guys, they're so easy. You just pop them right into the oven for an hour and then you pop on the crumble on top and put it back in there for about 10 minutes and they are just so easy and so delicious. So I purchased this reversible tablecloth. It's gold and silver on the other side. So I was looking for a Thanksgiving tablecloth, but they were all sold out. So all I could find was this, was this gold one and it worked out perfectly. And here in just a minute, when my pie is done, we're going to be putting that in the center of the table. I actually used my kitchen table to put all of the desserts on and then we put all of the food all over the counters and it worked out really perfectly. Feelings are so strong. How I miss your face. Let's have a toast for the love of us. We'll tumble brown in the snow. And my heart's going boom, boom, boom. It's so beautiful. And yes, I'm feeding Jackson in the midst of all of this chaos. He was eating some applesauce, so I was giving him bites as I was pacing around the kitchen. I know that everybody makes their green beans differently, but I like to drain mine, rinse them off, and then I add water, salt, butter, and some bacon to mine, and I let them cook on like medium high for about an hour or so, and they taste so good like this. And life gets so much easier when the baby goes down for his nap when I have so much to do and I am still finishing up the formula that he has. It's not going to hurt him. He is 12 months now, but he still has some formula left and he's not weaned off of it. So I do only give him formula for his nap and bedtime just to help him relax and lay down. Once his can of formula is gone, we are going to be transitioning to milk only. And he does drink milk okay, but the formula is just for when he's going to bed. So headed back into the kitchen, we're going to get some sweet tea started. I use about three bags of the Lipton iced tea. I boil that. I let it steep for a little while. I pour it into a gallon jug and put in a cup and a half of sugar. And I'm actually going to make two gallons of the tea and pour it all into a big glass container I have to make sure we have plenty of tea for our party. Just wanna have a high
And I don't like to have a ton of pillows on my couch anyways, because I do have three kids that are five and under and y'all, they just pull my pillows into the floor and they don't really stay on my couch very nicely throughout the day anyways. But for parties, I minimize my couch as much as I can. So I just left two fuzzy pillows and one blanket out of the way so that there's plenty of places for people to sit. And Jackson was actually giving me the hardest time today. It's funny, he will go to sleep no problem any other day, but the day I had so much to do, he was just giving me the hardest hardest time so I'm just gonna change his diaper and rock him and try to get him sleepy and see if he'll lay down and also the boys have the cutest matching outfits today they have these little shirts from Pat Pat they are just so cute if y'all are longtime subscribers you know about Pat Pat they have really really cute good quality clothes for really good prices so check out Pat Pat I have a referral link in my description box if you've never ordered from them you can get ten dollars towards your first order if you've never ordered them before so definitely go through my link so you can get that ten dollars so now that my potatoes are done boiling I'm gonna put those in my mixer with all the ingredients and y'all I have made this sweet potato souffle for the longest time that I don't even follow the instructions anymore I eyeball all of the ingredients and I know exactly what goes in it and it comes out perfect every time. Anytime I host the holidays at our house, I always make a big pot of coffee. It's just too extra trying to mess with the Keurig and make everybody an individual cup of coffee when they ask. I have done that before. So I just go ahead and make a full pot of coffee for anybody that comes that wants one. And it's so nice to just have ready-made coffee sitting there for anyone to use. And I also grab me a cup too. And it's just really nice to sit around and chat with all of our family and eat good food and drink good coffee. If y'all like the canned cranberry sauce as much as I do, then listen girl, if you can't get that cranberry sauce out of the can, take you a butter knife and ring it around a couple of times and then turn it upside down as you ring it and it'll slide right out. That is a trick that I have learned and I have taught other people and it makes it so much easier. I love cranberry sauce. It's definitely one of my favorite holiday sides to eat. I will legit mix my cranberry sauce with my ham and my turkey and my dressing and eat it all in one bite and it is so delicious. I had a spill on my stove from tea and my sweet potatoes so I'm just going to spray it with my easy off. I love this easy off. I've shared 
shared it with y'all a couple times now, but it works so good if you have food that is stuck on your stove. Spray on some of that Easy Off, let it sit for a minute, and it will wipe right up. I went ahead and put my souffle in the oven, and I'm going to cook that about halfway, and then I'm going to add on the topping. You can add on the topping and cook it the whole time, or you can add it on halfway, and then you can add the marshmallows right there at the very end and just lightly broil them on top, and it is the most delicious way to make sweet potatoes. So here in just a minute, we're gonna be finishing up the food and I'm gonna be working on cleaning up the kitchen while I wait on the food to cook. So we hung out with some family for a little while and then once they left, I finished cleaning up the kitchen and now I'm finishing up our laundry. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold up and put away all of the towels and then I'm gonna head into the kitchen and mop and then I'm gonna pick the camera up the next day and we're gonna decorate my front porch for Christmas. I was very excited to decorate my front porch and I had no idea what I was doing. I have never in my life decorated a front porch with garland and Christmas lights. Anytime I've ever had Christmas lights on my house, my husband or my dad did it. So I figured it out. And that is a big lesson of life is figuring things out yourself. So if you don't know how to do something, you can try to figure it out yourself. There's lots of information on the internet about everything. And what better way to start than to just try. If you want something done, sometimes you just got to do it yourself. So I told myself I was not looking for perfection with our Christmas lights on our front porch. I was not trying to make anything perfect. I just wanted to put some Christmas lights up for my kids for Christmas. We have not had Christmas lights on our house where we've lived in years. So I really wanted this year to be the year that we make that happen. So I'm going to start off by putting down my red Christmas mat. I changed the black one out for the red one. And then I'm going to put my three foot Christmas trees on both sides of the door. And I do end up tying those to the porch poles with some twine so that the wind doesn't knock them over and I'm going to start wrapping my garland around the porch then I'm going to be wrapping the Christmas lights and I'm going to figure it all out I had no idea what I was doing like I said I just figured the whole thing out myself I actually had to take some of the lights down and redo it had to have my husband help me but you know what we made it work so I'm going to go ahead and finish decorating the porch and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like at the end and I also had some extra spare garland that I cut off, so I ended up adding that over on my entryway table.
myself that I figured out how to hang up the garland and the lights all by myself without anybody telling me how to. So prepare for a happy dance here in just a minute. And my littles were also standing in the doorway so excited to see the end results. The garland and Christmas lights that I'm going to be putting around the front door, I ended up thumbtacking those so that the wind doesn't blow those away. And I'm also going to be adding a really pretty Christmas wreath to the front door. And I'll be sharing how the lights look at night at the very end of the video. I really hope this video gave y'all all the motivation you needed today. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye!